Hello guys, this tutorial is a continuation of the previous tutorial and this tutorial is going to cover the different types of assignment operators and tip you on when to wrap the variables in percentage signs and when not. If you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. Hello guys, welcome back. Now let's first begin with the assignment operators and get them out of the way. It won't take too long. It will be quick. So let's get on with that first. Now assignment operators are these ones down here. If you go to this URL, you'll see a whole bunch of them down here. Now I haven't seen a lot of these being used. Probably I've only seen this one, this one this one and this one being used the other ones you can probably get the hang of it once you read the documentation but chances are you are not going to use them and so i won't be covering them now going back to our script and so i have said colon equals dot equals uh, plus equals minus equals are the four assignment operators that are often used now let me comment the last three out the first one is we have been using it all the time so i don't really need to explain this to you but let me just show you another way that a lot of people that like to save every single lines of space you can assign values to multiple variables in this way so five will be assigned to variable three and two and one so if i go ahead and and write a message box and this time i'm going to use a multi-line message box and make it say variable one now i'm going to use this little shortcut which is control d control d uh, copies the line that you're in and pastes it down below so i just need to uh, edit the numbers for the variables now let me just go ahead and save this script and run it to see what numbers you get for variable one two three it's all gonna be five i'm now gonna explain to you what these assignment operators will do to each of the variables so let me go ahead and fill out the variable names and type out one one and one and let's see what we get as a result afterwards i can comment this out now variable one two three will be given a, a value of five let's see what happens to those variables when i um, use the assignment operator and put a number of one afterwards okay so we've got 51 6 and 4 First of all, 51 means you got a, a value of 5 and you just added a number of 1 adjacent to it. You didn't add it to number 5 that it, that it became a number 6. That's actually what's happened in the next line. So plus equal sign adds what comes after to the variable. And minus equal sign takes away the what comes after from the variable. But the first one, dot and equal sign, appends what comes after the assignment operator to the variable. Now, obviously, the way you use these assignment operators is optional. You don't have to use them. You can basically just go convert this, for example, plus equal sign to colon equal sign and go variable two plus one. But if you get lazy, then you can use these assignment operators. Now, um, oftentimes people that use loop would use this method. So for instance, I could go, I could just go ahead and create a loop and initiate uh, a variable called i with a value of zero. And down here, I could go i plus equals one and message box actually let me do a loop of five times message box and i to display the output with an increment of one each time like that an alternative way um, if you're just going to increment by by one an alternative way is you could also do i plus plus and that adds one to i so that's this is going to produce the same results three four five uh, for taking away one, it's negative one. 
let's go ahead and run it. It will give me negative values, negative one, two, three, four, five. Now, but if you uh, want to increment by, I don't know, more than one, say three, then you would be using, you could be using this assignment operator instead of going i e equals i plus three. Alrighty, let's go back to where we left off in the last tutorial. So in the last tutorial, we had this these lines of codes where I was assigning values, string values to these two variables and then use these two variables inside a command called input box. And the way the input box command worked is that I had to wrap these variable names inside percentage signs like this in order to access the the values that are stored within these variables. However, output variable, which is also a variable, a variable that stores the value that you put inside the edit field here. Um, why is this not wrapped in percentage signs? And that's the that's one of the rules you need to know when you're coding in order key. Now there are some times when you have to wrap these variable names inside percentage signs and there are times when you shouldn't. So let me first begin with the times when you should wrap them in percentage signs. The first thing is what you saw just now, commands except when the parameter is output variable. What I mean by this is if I go to any auto archi documentation let's say let's go to input box now if you look at the syntax um, you'll see output variable like this when you see this you do not wrap this in percentage signs you wrap the other ones but not this one and therefore when you saw our uh, previous lines of codes you saw output variable not wrapped in percentage signs but the other ones did right um, let me show you maybe one or two more examples let me go back to the documentation and this time I'm going to search for win get title and this command uh, will give me let me just grab that go back to my site so that's the syntax and if I go win get title output variable is going to be the title of the window that I specify and let me just call it and remember because the output this is an output variable you don't wrap it in percentage signs so I'm just gonna go my active window title and that's gonna be my variable name and then afterwards I'm going to put in an A which means active window so if I go ahead and actually let me just write a message box to display what my active window title is and it's going to be test script dot dash site for auto hockey and I get exactly that right and what I'm going to do next is instead of doing a message box I'm going to keep this window title in my clipboard so that I can run this script and print out my window title which I'm going to store let me now get rid of let me just comment these out I'm going to store this as my selected window title right and uh, and this time I'm going to use this as a value that gets fed into another command which is going to be uh, which is going to be winget auto key winget and let me I'm done with this let me grab this part and go back to site now what I'm going to be demonstrating here is I'm going to be demonstrating that if I want to feed this variable into this win title parameter and get the output variable out which is going to be the windows unique id I need to wrap this in percentage signs whereas I don't have to for output variable all right let's go ahead and do exactly that let's go and type out the command name winget 
and what's going to be the output variable uh, let me just call it hwnd which stands for handle to window and this represents the unique ID of the win window so this is a, a common variable name that people use for uh, unique IDs of, of windows so now sub command I can skip this I'm gonna go straight into win title which is gonna be this value so like I said I need to wrap this in percentage signs otherwise I'm not going to get um, the unique ID of of the window that I'm I'm trying to specify now H W and D so what's going to be stored in here will be the unique ID of this window uh, the wind test that that window that has this this um, string as the title. So if I go ahead and run this message box, let me just bring this down. Message box. So I get this weird string which represents the unique ID of the window. Now let me go ahead and see what happens if I remove the percentage signs. It gives me a blank. Or if I put the percentage sign back in but wrap hwnd in percentage sign let's see what we get uh, this is going to give me an error it looks like so remember when the documentation says output variable for one of the parameters then you do not wrap that in percentage signs now the second thing that you don't wrap in percentage signs is commands except when the parameter is input variable let me quickly go into an example let me go back to the AutoArchy documentation and this time uh, let's say string upper which converts your string into or uppercase so this one has an input variable uh, parameter so if I go, let's go string upper or string lower, output variable, let's say, I might just call it output variable and input variable. I'm going to create a variable here, my variable and make it all lowercase. Hello, this is a test and put that variable name in here. Now, when this gets fed into uh, this command line, uh, do not do not wrap this in percentage sign because if I do I'm going to be showing you message box output variable let's see what we get if I don't wrap it in percentage sign first I get hello this is a this is a test in all uppercase which is what we are expecting but if we wrap this in percentage sign let's see what happens I get an error all right so when you see in the syntax uh, output variable or input variable do not wrap them in percentage signs. I can show you uh, one other quick example. Auto key. Um, there's not that many commands that have input variable as one of the parameters. I think, well, at least I feel like there haven't been that many. Um, string mid. I think this is this is one example. String mid. But I think this might have been deprecated. There we go. So you can still use this, but try not to. And this one has an input uh, variable. Now, I think there was an alternative called sub string. Yeah, this one. You can use this instead, sub string. But for demo purposes, let me just. Uh, okay. I'll use this. I go string mid output variable, and input variable is going to be. Uh, this one don't wrap it in percentage signs start character um, I think this gets me okay I think gets me specify yes, we choose one or more characters okay I think what I need to do is I need to specify the starting character one two three four five six seven or a six and then count let me try and get this word out so if I go ahead and run this okay I'm missing I think it should have been seven. Seven and run it and I get the word this. Now, so when there's input variable within the syntax, don't wrap it in percentage signs. It will give you an error. So the rule of thumb is that you wrap in percentage signs all the variable names 
in commands except when the parameter is alpha variable or input variable. Now I'm just going to show you really quickly what other things outside of commands should not be wrapped in percentage signs. Now first thing is functions. Variables within functions should not be wrapped in percentage signs. What I mean by that is I'm just going to run a quick function by using an example so I can demonstrate to you what I mean. 3 abc789 I have covered this function already before it finds the position of the needle within a haystack needle and message box string pos so uh, it, this is going to give me a number which is the starting point of of this this value within this string and that's going to be number four okay and when you run this when you run this uh, function, you do not feed in the variables um, wrapped in percentage signs. Now, the last thing you do not wrap in percentage sign is the variable in if statements. What I mean by that is, I'm just going to keep needle and use that as a way to run an if statement. And let's say if needle equals ABC, give me a message box that says correct right if i run this i'll get a message box that says correct now if i if i wrap this in percentage signs it's going to not show the message box i can write an else statement and says message box incorrect and run that and i'll get an incorrect message box because this does not match that because you should not wrap this in percentage signs now one quirky thing I noticed is that if you wrap this needle within percentage signs and put another needle that is also wrapped in percentage signs, this is going to work and it's going to show me a correct message box. I, I think that is because whatever that is, this is considered to be equals whatever this is considered to be because they're eventually the same. If I comment this out, meaning needle has nothing in it and run it it still works but you will never uh, create if statements like this and um, just be sure to uh, take out the percentage signs if you want the value within these this variable to be used in the if statement now that's it for today's tutorial thanks for watching this long video and i will see you in the next tutorial